shocking claims have been made about Liam Payne's final hours after his devastating death. The One Direction star left his legion of loyal fans bereft last week when he fell from the third floor suite of the Casa Sur Hotel in Argentina, with police describing his injuries as incompatible with life. Liam had been in Buenos Aires to watch his bandmate Niall Horan perform and appeared to be in good spirits when he was smiling with fans in South America. However, on Wednesday evening, the world was stunned when the star's death was announced. Following a toxicology report which revealed the presence of a Class A drug in Liam's system, a number of dramatic claims about the star's last hours have been made, including that the much-loved dad of one was preyed on by drug dealers. Liam's friend has claimed he'd been targeted by dealers who allegedly delivered drugs to his hotel room after he'd been clean for weeks. Two members of staff at the Casa Sur Hotel are said to be under investigation following Liam's death. According to the outlet, a cleaner and another member of staff at the hotel had reportedly hid drugs in a Dove soapbox, which has since been found by police. It was reported that white powder residue, crystals, tablets, and other forms of drug paraphernalia were noticed in Liam's suite. Liam allegedly had traces of cocaine in his body, forensic experts have discovered, according to Argentine media reports. Materials extracted from the star's body in an autopsy following his death on Wednesday had determined the presence of the Class A drug. It was claimed that among those substances was pink cocaine, which contains a lethal mixture of drugs including MDMA, ketamine, methamphetamine, cocaine, Benzodias pine and crack drugs he'd taken. The former basketball player has recalled his own experiences with drugs after it's been reported the One Direction star had taken pink cocaine. Lamar said that the drugs may have made Liam hallucinate, which may have led to his death. Just hours before he fell from his Buenos Aires hotel balcony, Liam contacted two women through an Argentine website, which has raised questions about the personal struggles he faced in the days leading up to his death. Gemitos is well known in Argentina, a portal where hundreds of women across the country offer companionship with photos and detailed descriptions. Both women were required to submit their identification at the front desk. Though they had never met each other before, Lucille and Aldana were escorted up to Liam's 310 room. According to their testimonies to the police, no drugs were consumed. Both women denied any involvement in Liam's death, stating that they had spent a short amount of time with him, drank alcohol, and left when an issue of payment arose.